In orbital mechanics, the eccentric anomaly is an angular parameter that defines the position of a body that is moving along an elliptic Kepler orbit. The eccentric anomaly is one of three angular parameters anomalies, that define a position along an orbit, the other two being the true anomaly and the mean anomaly. Graphical representation Consider the ellipse with equation given by x 2 a 2 plus y 2 b 2 equals 1 display style frac x caret 2 a caret 2 plus frac y caret 2 b caret 2 equals 1 where a is the semi major axis and b is the semi minor axis for a point on the ellipse, p equals p x y, representing the position of an orbiting body in an elliptical orbit, the eccentric anomaly is the angle E in the figure. The eccentric anomaly E is one of the angles of a right triangle with one vertex at the center of the ellipse, its adjacent side lying on the major axis, having hypotenusa equal to the semi-major axis of the ellipse, and opposite side perpendicular to the major axis and touching the point P on the auxiliary circle of radius A that passes through the point P. The eccentric anomaly is measured in the same direction as the true anomaly, shown in the figure as f. The eccentric anomaly E in terms of these coordinates is given by cos E equals x A display style cos E equals frac x A and sin E equals y B Display style sin e equals frac y b. The second equation is established using the relationship y b two equals one minus cos two e equals sin two e. Display style left frac y b right carrot two equals one cos carrot two e equals sin carrot two e, which implies that sin e. Topic plus or minus y b. The equation sin e minus y b is immediately able to be ruled out since it traverses the ellipse in the wrong direction. It can also be noted that the second equation can be viewed as coming from a similar triangle with its opposite side having the same length y as the distance from p to the major axis, and its hypotenuse b equal to the semi-minor axis of the ellipse. Formulas Radius and eccentric anomaly The eccentricity E is defined as E equals one minus B A two. Display style E equals SQRT one left frac B A right carrot two. From Pythagoras theorem applied to the triangle with R A distance FP as hypotenuse R two equals B two sin 2 e plus a e minus a cos e 2 equals a 2 1 minus e 2 1 minus cos 2 e plus a 2 e 2 minus 2 e cos e plus cos 2 e equals a 2 minus 2 a 2 e cos e plus a 2 e 2 cos 2 e equals a 2 1 minus e cos e 2 display style begin align r caret 2 and equals b caret 2 sin caret 2 e plus error cos e caret 2 and equals a caret 2 left 1 e caret 2 right left 1 cos caret 2 e right plus a caret 2 left e caret 2 2 e cos e plus cos caret 2 e right and equals a caret 2 to a caret 2 e cos e plus a caret 2 e caret 2 cos caret 2 e and equals a carrot two left one e cos e right carrot two end aligned thus t 
He radius distance from the focus to point P is related to the eccentric anomaly by the formula R equals a one minus E cos E display style R equals a left one E cos E right with this result the eccentric anomaly can be determined from the true anomaly as shown next. Topic. From the true anomaly The true anomaly is the angle labeled f in the figure, located at the focus of the ellipse. In the calculations below, it is referred as theta. The true anomaly and the eccentric anomaly are related as follows. Using the formula for r above, the sine and cosine of e are found in terms of theta cos e equals x a equals a e plus r cos theta a equals e plus 1 minus e cos e cos theta cos e equals e plus cos theta 1 plus e cos theta sin e equals 1 minus cos 2 e equals 1 minus e 2 sin theta 1 plus e cos theta Display style begin aligned cos e and equals frac x a equals frac a plus r cos theta a equals e plus one e cos e cos theta right arrow cos e and equals frac e plus cos theta one plus e cos theta sin e and equals sqrt one cos carrot two e equals frac sqrt one e carrot two sin theta one plus e cos theta end aligned hence tan e equals sin e cos e equals one minus e two sin theta e plus cos theta display style tan e equals frac sin e cos e equals Frac sqrt 1 e carrot 2 sin theta e plus cos theta angle e is therefore the adjacent angle of a right triangle with hypotenuse 1 plus e cos theta adjacent side e plus cos theta and opposite side square root 1 minus e 2 sin theta. Also, tan theta 2 equals 1 plus e 1 minus e tan e 2 display style tan frac theta 2 equals sqrt frac 1 plus e 1 e tan frac e 2 substituting cos e as found above into the expression for r the radial distance from the focal point to the point p can be found in terms of the true anomaly as well r equals a 1 minus e 2 1 plus e cos theta display style r equals frac a left 1 e caret 2 right 1 plus e cos theta topic from the mean anomaly the eccentric anomaly e is related to the mean anomaly m by kepler's equation m equals e minus E sin E display style m equals e e sin e. This equation does not have a closed form solution for e given m. It is usually solved by numerical methods, e.g. the newton raphson method. Topic. See also. Eccentricity vector. Orbital eccentricity. Topic. Notes and references Topic Sources Murray, Carl D., and Dermot, Stanley F. 1999, Solar System Dynamics, Cambridge University Press, Cambridge, G. B. Plummer, Henry C. K. 1960, An Introductory Treatise on Dynamical Astronomy, Dover Publications, New York, New York, reprint of the 1918 Cambridge University Press edition.